What is up, everybody? Welcome. How's everybody doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. How's everybody doing? What's up, everyone? We're in Rancho today. We're going to make some adjustments to the grind. So, basically, we've got whitetail at places we never used to have them. So, we're going to, let's make sure we've got tents. How's everybody doing today? Yo, yo, yo. I'm doing pretty good, Caitlin. How are you? Not too bad today. Diamond incoming, maybe. We'll see. All right, so this is going to be interesting, man. We're going to have to move some things around. It's uh, honestly, I think what we're going to have to do. We're going to have tents. We're going to have to start prioritizing zones. If the if the white tail are going to be spread around all over the place. Then that means we're, we might have more zones, right? More zones with less deer, meaning that we can't hunt all the zones. So we're gonna have to prioritize zones and omit zones from the grind. So we're gonna have to strategically move our tents around and decide where we wanna hunt, where we don't wanna hunt. So I wanna start working on that today. You guys can kinda see the process a little bit. Kevin's here, Macy's here. What's up, Blemzy, how you doing? Skids, uh, a bass master, Tasky. Uh, Wins Wolf Joyce, how's everybody doing? Sweaty, Christian, Kermit, Jerry, Beluga, Lunar's here, Christian's here. What's up, guys? Day's been good so far. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm going to put that away. And I'll hold on to the 223. And let's get... Let's just get all three of the ARs for now. Where's that 22? Okay. Do, 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 do. My parent scope. Okay. Beautiful. Tents on eight. Wind that time back. How do I like the 308? It's the best uh, gun in the game probably right now. Hard, hard to say that it's not the best gun in the game right now. So I'm liking it so far. You want to see the pistol, Wolf? Let's see. Don't have room to carry it, unfortunately, but we can look at it. The Sundberg, right there. That's the new skin, the free pistol. You guys will have that tomorrow with the update. It's pretty sweet. Is the Rhino pistol worth it? The Rhino is absolutely worth it, I think, yeah. In my opinion. Why do they add the crosshair? Isn't it pointless? Um, some people might say it's pointless. Other people might say it's got a, a point. <laughs> Just depends who you ask. Um, it could help you with your recurve or longbow aiming. Um, some people find it helps to know where the center of the screen is, screen is for different applications in the game. One sec here, sorry. So yeah. Some people will say it's pointless. Some people will find a use for it. But apparently it was something that was requested in the game. So that was why they added it. So you don't have to use it. You can turn it off. You can turn it on. You can pick what color you want it to be. My favorite AR is the 308 by far. Definitely the 308. Okay, Christian. We'll see you later, man. Do you know what time the update is tomorrow? It usually happens in the middle of the night for me. It's like usually 2 or 3 a.m. Pacific time. So I believe this is still... Yeah, I can hear them already. No, that's sheep. What am I talking about? I think this is still... 
Ooh, I might not have a whitetail zone here anymore. But whitetail now can be over there as well. So we might have to go for a long run over there. Let's see if that is currently the case. But I think I checked here before, and I think I don't have whitetail here anymore. I think I actually don't have this zone. Yeah, I, oh, yes I do. Never mind. Okay, so this setup stays. Hang on. It's only one buck, though. Mm, if it's only one little buck, then I don't know if I want to if I want to use the zone. Oh, well, there's more. Let's see. Hey, Caden, what's up, man? Hey, Armand, welcome. What time is it for me right now? It's 2 p.m. 2 p.m. So yeah, big update. Drops tomorrow. Full release tomorrow. The DLC will be available tomorrow if you want to get it. So decent, decent bucks here. Or at least one decent buck. So I might keep this set up here then. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. Deciding what to keep, and what tents to take down and move around. Oh come on! Don't don't stand behind the tree. Don't don't do that. That's obnoxious. Hey CJO, I'm pretty good, man. How are you? Got a piebald gator today, Caden. Nice, Louie. Welcome. Early stream hype. Yeah, man. I was like, why not? We might as well. Where's the other one? I don't know where that little level one went. No idea. When was my last piebald, Caden? Caden, have you been watching the videos, my man? My last piebald whitetail was a few days ago. Made a video about it. First piebald pronghorn, Grayson. Nice. Does the 44 come out with the update? It sure does. Um, I think so, Blemzy. I think so. <laughs> it's not something that'll happen immediately, but... We'll get there. Thanks for asking, man. Don't know where to hunt. Can you please give me a suggestion? Um, like, what do you mean? Like, what do you want me? I don't, I don't know. Like, what? <laughs> what map? Uh, you can try some Hirschfeld and you hunt some some red foxes in Hirsch. That's always a good time. I think we are going to do it. I think I'm going to run to this lake. Let's see if I have zones because I know the whitetail are over there now. So we got we to gotta do it. You know what? We could ATV part way. Whoa. Why did it put my... That was weird. Yeah, it's two kilometers away. So let's grab the bike. Uh, Rex, how's it going? Chris, how's it going? You got a pieball yesterday, Grant? Nice. Have you gotten anything good today? Caden, I just started playing uh, three minutes ago. Welcome to the stream. Nothing yet today, but welcome. Four leucistic animal, two melanistic, one albino. Zachary, nice. Hey, Davey, how's it going? Um, Dylan, I just went live like five minutes ago, man. Haven't gotten anything good yet. Welcome. We all just got here. Welcome, welcome. Holy, holy, watch where you're going, Casey. Next AR stream this time for the, the year would be the most memorable time ever. AR Eve? There it is. Sorry to hear that, Erica. Hey, William, welcome. Whoa, riding on two wheels, baby. That's how we do it. It's fine. It's all good. Casually. Just casually.
casually riding on two wheels. What time will the update release? I'm not 100% sure, just like you guys. Uh, I think it'll be like other updates and DLCs. It's usually like 2 or 3 in the morning, Pacific time. Was there a weather change on Mississippi? Apparently they've reduced rain. That was in the patch notes. As far as I know, the rain has been reduced. I think the rain was reduced just in general though, not just on Mississippi. I think that's the thing. Um, why do I use metric instead of imperial? You have to choose one. That was the one I chose. I used to use imperial and then I switched. Uh, the game is built around metric, so I switched switched over to metric. Got to pick one of them. Uh, if you're wondering if there's one that's better than the other, no. Just it's just to have a, a jo an option. I think these are white tail? No, these are muleys. So, Scarecrow and I checked. We checked this lake on my map for mule deer in, during mule, uh, the mule deer drink time because they used to always drink here. It was like a major hot spot. Actually, we did find one, but it was just a solo doe. So that was weird. But we had whitetail all out in this area. So I have a feeling that they're going to be drinking here. Oh boy, what have I done? Oh boy. Would you prefer a new Asia map with new Ibex? And Marco Polo Sheep or a Hawaii map? Um, what animals would be on a Hawaii map? I think the Asia map sounds amazing. Getting paid to take care of my brother. Parents are at work. Get the card and get the DLC tomorrow. Nice, Armin. There you go, buddy. Right, we'll hoof it from here. That was loud. Shot both your down mule deer in this area. Kermit, nice. Heck yeah. 33 likes. Appreciate all the likes, you guys. Got a melanistic road ear on Quattro. I would love to get a melanistic road ear. That would be amazing. I think the ARs are better than the M1 so far. Well, the 308 is, I think, better than, than the M1. The other two you wouldn't really compare to the M1. Different class of weapon. But the 308 is, uh, I would say, better than the M1, yeah. I think people, there are people that will still use the M1, I think. The M1 is still going to be a fantastic weapon. Um, but yeah, I would say it's a little bit better. Run to the hill. Axe deer, frail goat, mule deer. On Hawaii? I think they need more you need more animals than that for a map though. I don't know if there's enough species of animals in Hawaii for a map. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, you couldn't really do a map with only three three animals on it. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. Have I heard anything about the Africa 2.0 map? Well there is no Africa 2.0 map yet. There's no There's no the Africa 2.0 map yet. So nothing to hear about yet. Um what the next map will be is completely a mystery at this point. Could be anywhere. I don't think anybody was expecting uh, Mississippi, so who knows where it's going to be. Got two diamond row in two days in Quadro, Michael. Congrats, buddy. Hawaii, feral goats, axis, some other exotic animals, pretty much TRO. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'd be into that. It would kind of be pretty much TRO, wouldn't it? Uh, an Asian map would be super cool if they, if they uh, ever plan to do that. I don't know if they do, but...
Hey Ty, welcome. How rare is the piebald red fox? They're quite rare. I would say very rare. How much is the new pack of weapons? I think it's the same as the other weapon packs. It won't be any different. I think they're about $4 American. Hey, John, are you losing it? I don't know. I hope not. I'm losing Rosies on Layton, going by water and disappear like gators. Uh, I've heard of disappearing Roosevelt elk. It's not just you. And I can't confirm if that's been fixed with this update. I don't think it was addressed. I don't think EW has addressed that problem yet. So it's unfortunate. More excited for tomorrow than I was for Christmas. Nice, Adam. That's awesome. Yeah, it's an exciting time for the game, for sure. A UK map? That would be cool. Hey, Bryce. How's it going? Bryson, how you doing? Three new maps. Nevada, Montana, uh, Alaska, Brooks Ranch. Yeah, those all sound fantastic, especially the Alaska one. I'm hoping we get something a little different, not another, you know, United States map or something next. This is enough of those for now, I think. Okay, we're getting close to the lake. Tracks everywhere. Sheep. Mule deer. More sheep. Newly calling. Fifty-one likes. Let's see if we can get this thing to hundred likes, you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys, man. Streaming on my day off. I deserve the likes, I think. <laughs> Streaming on my day off while sick. Uh would you like a Canada map or in Australia, I would like both of those maps for sure. I don't know what, what I would pick over the other, to be honest. I think they would do a good job on both of those. Sheep drink zone. Okay, do we have whitetail here? Is it a thing? I wonder if they might have been right here. Where the sheep zone is. Oh, something over there. Whitetail. Fleeing. Bobcat. We've got a bobcat over here. That's interesting. Bobcat's here, you guys. <laughs> There's a friggin' bobcat over here. That's insane. Spooking my whitetail. An Asia map, maybe Mongolia? Yeah, that would be really cool. Do all the lakes in Rancho have whitetail? No, not all of them, but almost. Almost all the lakes. Almost all of the water can have whitetail drinking at it now. There's a few spots where they're not being found. I'll point that out in uh, at some point here. This bobcat. That's a that's a pain having a bobcat there. It might be the only zone here. For white tail. Four of them. Yeah. 
be five to a hundred. Yep. I'm surprised there isn't a second zone. I'm surprised there's only one. But good to know. Okay, I know I've got white tail there, and I've got white tail there. I have not checked over here yet. So maybe we'll do that next. We gotta check that lake too. And then there's also white tail along the river now. And down there. So that turns interesting. Let's go. Let's go right here. Yeah, the early access has been a lot of fun, Jessica. Having a good time with it. The cost of the DLC won't be any different than the other weapon packs, Grayson. Same same thing. I think they're like $4 US. I believe. Do I know what is new on Quattro? Um, I know some of it, yep. Very left lake. That is very small. That little lake? Yeah, I think they're pretty much at every body of water now, other than this top corner. They're, they're literally, they can, they can be anywhere else, anywhere there's water. So that, that's probably included, yep. Yeah, so we'll check that too. And I've got a white tail right in front of me. Will your outposts reset on the maps? No, your outposts won't be touched. Outposts, your tents, your hunting structures, those won't be, those won't be touched. Just your populations. Maybe a map uh, back in time that has Irish elk. That would be way too good. Way too good. You're gonna flee, are ya? Okay. So, I don't think I can actually... Can I place more tents right now? No. So we're gonna, if we want to... We're gonna want to set up here, I think. But basically what we have to do... We're gonna have to go to our old setups. See if there's any of those spots where those zones aren't there anymore. And pick up those tents. Because I've got a zone right here. There goes a buck. And there goes a buck. And then I've got another zone at the other end. What will the population update do? It's going to reset your populations on all four of those maps that we talked about. Four of the maps are getting full pop resets. And their home ranges are changing. Some of, some of the species' home ranges are changing. They're going to be on different parts of the map than they used to be. Um, some of them are going to have different uh, schedules on the maps. So it's a pretty big change. Right in the spine. What about Kustir and Rancho? What about Kustir and Rancho? What if, right? <laughs> yeah, that would be great. That would be awesome. What if? You'd have to eat a what if sandwich if that was the case. Now I had a zone over there too. Wait, did I just wipe that zone? Oh, that zone's gone now. Yay, rip. I don't know what's going on on that side. I had about 10 whitetail over there. Gustav, thank you for the sub. Gustav, welcome. You have a few questions, Bryson? 
What can I do for you, man? <laughs> How's it going? Hey, Stephanie, welcome. There's no need to repeat. You can just ask the questions, Bryson. You don't have to, you don't have to repeat that you have a few questions. Just like everyone else. Everyone else is just asking questions. It's all good. I'm, I'm here to answer. Doll Sheep and Leighton and Yukon would be so cool. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Especially Yukon. Yukon could use another species. Might go hunting South Africa, IRL, and go hunt some Impala. Wow. That sounds incredible. Funny thing about my name, normally people call me Armin on live streams, but you say my name the right way, and it's funny to see people saying Armin. Do you mean because I, I pronounced the D at the end? It's really the only thing I'm good at is pronouncing names. So. It's, um, did I do Bryson? What's, what's up, man? Is that your question? Just yes? <laughs> what do you think of Parquet Fernando nowadays? Uh, it's one of my least favorite maps. I find it just a little bit underwhelming. Uh, Parquet and Hirschfeld are my two least, least played, least favorite at the moment. Just don't find it very exciting. It's exciting finding cool animals there, but the map itself is just kind of a little bit dull, I think, for me. Would you like to hunt muskox? Absolutely, I would, yeah. Um, DG, you meant the very right lake. Okay, you said very left. But yeah, that little lake on the very right, yep. They are there as well. So yeah, we've got some places to check. Um, Charlotte, I haven't played in a couple months now. Is there anything new coming or something changed? Um, yeah, actually, what a coincidence. There's a big, huge, massive update coming out tomorrow and a new weapon pack coming out tomorrow as well. And this is early access for that. It's a good time to come back to the game. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Medved and Hirschfeld are your least favorite. You gotta give Medved a chance. It's one of the best maps in the game. Very uh, underappreciated map. Most people just don't give it the time that it deserves, the time that it takes to get used to it. I didn't like it at first either. It just takes a little bit of time, but once you do kind of start to understand the map and get a feel for it, it's uh, it's an awesome map. Very aesthetically pleasing too. It's a beautiful map. Got a dime red fox and Hirsch while hunting bison. All I had was the 45 Colt, 15.2. Nice, Davey. Heck yeah, man. Watched a couple videos on the Mega Raptor. Mega Raptor, what? Oh, an arc, maybe? Are we getting raptors in Caldwell? Okay, so we're approaching this lake. Do I have whitetail here? Oh, bighorn. Um, not too bad, Aaron. Thanks for asking. Not too bad. We got Bighorn down there. Got a diamond C Ibex 193.6. Messed up a four diamond Rhonda. Sorry to hear that, Servid. Diamond the diamond seat's cool though. Do you have any tips for hunting with that very small the very small drink times in Silver Ridge Peaks? I have a Silver Ridge Peaks quick guide. That might help you. Um, as far as the short drink times, there's not much you can do about it. You just don't have as you just literally don't have as long to hunt before you either do a time reset or move on to the next species. It's really all there is to it. It's a disadvantage for everybody. There's not really much you can do to combat it. You just yeah, you don't have you don't have you just don't have as much time to hunt. 
Uh, you gotta be quick, <laughs> essentially. But yeah, as far as where you're gonna find animals and things like that, I do have a, a quick guide that that uh, covers every species on the map. Would you like another Euro map or a Canadian map? I would like both of those things. I would love a Euro map at the moment, though. Definitely. So we've got a whitetail zone. Not a ton happening there. But it's a zone. Let's shoot that one. Might be the only buck there. Two does and a buck. Hey, Mickey, welcome. Just joined from across the pond. Great stream. The best. Keep going. Thank you so much, Mickey. Appreciate you. Song has 90s vibes. Uh, was it this one or the last one? I really like this track. It's a good track. Did you see Scarecrow's video? I got the great one and only like 250 kills. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, he got a fresh... He got a, a great one of 250 kills. Not sure if you're referring to one of his other great ones, but he got a fresh spawn great one in the in the early access. So a much much less than 250 kills. Hey Rob, welcome. How's it going, man? You ever been to Bellodies? Bellodies? Is that a, supposed to be funny there, Don? Let me make the jokes, man. I got this. Appreciate you. I'll, I'll, I'll do the comedy. <laughs> If I feel like it. Pump Sugar 6128. Just got a great one. Nice. Congratulations. Uh, I got a pretty clutch kill on a gold diamond wildebeest today, one day before the update with the population reset. Nice. Awesome. Try and guess what my first diamond was, uh, Caden. Uh, cinnamon teal. Not, I don't really have anything to go on. <laughs> Uh, taking a break from Quattro uh, grind, RD grind, red, red deer grind. Trying for a diamond before tomorrow's update. Nice. I hope you get one, Barn. Hey, Tim. It's going pretty good, man. Thanks for asking. Morning call. We got white tail. Didn't see them over there. Weird. Calm down. Thanks, Don. Appreciate you, man. Uh, Ty, hey, KC, anything good? Uh, not yet, man. Welcome. Nervous. Okay, hang on. We need this zone. Where is this guy living? He already killed 250 we found it at a lake he hadn't checked. Yeah. Well, I think it was a fresh spawn since the populations were reset, though. Just killed a great one. Uh, hippo? DG? Nice. Finally, someone gets a great one hippo. I don't know where that guy went. Is he just sitting in the bush? I'd like to get the zone. I don't know if he was by himself or what he was doing. What's he doing? What are you doing, guy? Oh, there we go. There it is.
can't see that buck, so I guess I can't shoot it, but we'll keep seeing if uh, more zones further down. What's the biggest difference between Rancho before and after the population reset? Um... I don't. I guess I don't really know yet since I haven't hunted. I haven't checked every species. There could be big, huge changes to the javelina or something. I can't really, can't really confirm that yet. The, only, the big, biggest change that I have noticed, as far as the investigation that I've done so far, like I haven't. I'm not playing this 12 hours a day like some other content creators. So I haven't investigated everything on every map yet. Um, but I have noticed pretty, pretty big changes to whitetail. Smaller herds and more herds, and they're at more lakes and bodies of water, and they're along the rivers, and so they've been spread out. So I imagine it's like that with the other species too. As far as schedule changes, I don't really know anything other than the whitetail yet for Rancho. Some big changes in Quattro and Verhaga that I've noticed. I haven't noticed anything changed in uh, Mississippi yet. There's that buck. Thought fresh spawns weren't a thing. Fresh spawn great ones? Levi, where have you been? I have one. <laughs> I got one in November. How you doing, Levi? Good to see you. Yeah, great one. Great ones spawn just like great ones are here. Okay, let's think of it this way. Um, there's a big thing in the community where people are really, really overthinking great ones. Great ones are just another rare spawn, just like a diamond, just like a rare. Right? To spawn diamonds, you don't have to do any funky things like killing only the big ones. Your map doesn't heat up when you start seeing big bucks. Diamonds just spawn when they want to spawn. It's just a rare spawn. Same thing with rare fur variations. Same things with the great ones, right? They can they can be fresh spawns just like anything else. It's just another rare spawn in the game. There's nothing funky or weird. You know, your map doesn't heat up. <laughs> All of that stuff. That might have been a thing in, in early Layton, back when Layton was having issues. Uh, when, when Grim kind of, you know, Put out all those kind of noticed all of those things that was different though <laughs> that was just for you know what was wrong with Layton at the time but um great ones are just another rare spawn in the game so you don't need to overthink stuff um you don't have to shoot only the big males uh doesn't matter if you shoot does you know what i mean at the end of the day it just it's just every time you kill a buck or a stag might come back as a great one. That's all there is to it. Super, super simple. Thought they got rid of them? No. Nope. They're just like anything else. So, they're just like anything else that has a, a, a chance of spawning in the game. Just like a diamond or a rare variation. So a fresh map can have diamonds, a fresh map can have rares, a fresh map could have a great one. There's just a rare chance of it spawning, whether that means when it spawns as a fresh spawn or as a respawn. Same thing. How's the ribs doing, scares? Yeah, I mean, it's something that I've kind of dealt with off and on for quite a while, Rob. So it's just like, it's just that this is the worst that it's been. And it does usually take a while and it'll go away and it'll be gone for you know, six months or something, and then come back, but, but yeah, <laughs> that's what it is, could be worse, thanks, man, have any of the Ibex hotspots hot changed, yeah, oh yeah, Ibex have changed big time, yeah, oh yeah, basically what they've done is, they've changed and added to some of the home ranges, but what if the main thing it feels like is they've taken the big herds and they've kind of spread them out, and the reason for the main reason for doing that is lag, right? All the lag issues that we've been having in certain parts of maps where there's a big concentration of animals. So that was a big reason for doing it to kind of spread them out. So in in spreading out those herds, they've they've kind of what has resulted is they've been spread out to different parts of the map. So you've got smaller herds and more herds. The populations are the same size, but they're now spread out so that you don't have uh, big concentrations of uh, animals in, in certain parts of the map. So like for instance, the top right lake in, Re in Quattro isn't like overloaded anymore like it used to be. Uh, the, big, the lake underneath the cliff 
right, with the BC Dybex and the Mouflon. Um, that's not going to be loaded like it used to be with Basits and Mouflon, like everywhere at that lake, um, which was probably why they made Mouflon drink in the evening now, so that the Mouflon aren't everywhere when everything else is drinking. That'll help with the lag and uh, performance. So the main thing was uh, it's a performance boost. So the main thing is spreading out those big herds of animals. Um, I honestly don't know why Mississippi was one of the four. <laughs> um, and I also haven't seen anything changed in Mississippi yet. So like, I don't know why it wouldn't have been something like Silver Ridge Peaks or uh, one of the maps that's actually having those issues. But I think eventually the, the plan is for them to do all of the maps, I'm hoping, to get that performance boost on all the maps. So that was another zone. Spooked him. What would be your new great one to add? Mule deer, fallow deer, rabbit, etc. Well, definitely neither, neither of the, the mule deer or rabbits. <laughs> For me, it would probably be moose or elk. Would be at the top of my list. I think that's probably the last zone at this lake. Unless uh, we might have one there. Uh, hey, Logan. What's up, man? Welcome. Did you miss any trophies? Nope. Welcome, Ivan. Your first time was a feral pig, Caden? Congrats, man. How long do I play Call of the Wild? I only play it when I'm streaming, Peter, unless I'm making a guide or something. So, not very long. You guys probably play more than I do. A lot of you guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on the new ARs? I definitely probably play the least of any content creator that you guys know of. <laughs> I don't uh, play outside of streaming. Will the animals on a map change when you restart the game or when they are out of range? Um, I don't really know what you're asking me. No, the, your animals, like, you will have a population on your map that will stay the same. The only way they change is if you shoot one in response. They are static. Was Mississippi just for the boats? Uh, well, no. They said that it was the full pop resets on all four of those um, those maps, Kalen. As far as we know, they said that those four maps were getting all full pop resets and changes to the home ranges and all that stuff. That was for all four of those maps. But they did add, add the boats, too. I don't know. Maybe they meant to make some changes but didn't or something. I, I, I don't know. Also, I've got uh, need zone icons on Verhanga or on Rancho in Mississippi. I still have all my need zone icons. On Verhanka and, and Quattro, all of the need, need, the need zone icons are gone. So I've been asking questions, trying to figure out exactly if, if that's a significance at all or if that means anything, or and I just haven't gotten any answers. So we'll see. It'll be interesting to see if that's a constant for everyone after you guys get the update. I'll be curious to know if uh, the need zone icons were wiped on your maps. Um, also, the hunting pressure wasn't wiped. Usually, if you do a pop reset, it wipes the pop. The, the hunting pressure, my maps still all have the, the old hunting pressure. So maybe it's just a thing in the beta. I'm not sure. Okay, I spooked him. What's that big horn? Just a three. So we've got a zone here. I'll go find it with the tracks. later but yeah like as you can see already like most of these zones I've got oh and there's mule deer here too I've got one buck and like a couple does rather than you know rancho you used to always have three four five sometimes more bucks at a zone it's not really a thing anymore this is a cool little spot Is Rancho going to get even better whitetail spawns? Uh, no. It shouldn't have really affect the spawns. It's just it, it's just kind of spread out your population. 
your, your spawns will still, the way things spawn, your population size is exactly the, th the same, and they didn't change anything about the way things spawn. So essentially, no, your spawns didn't change. Just the structure of your of your of your herds of your populations have changed. Now, where was this zone? Hey, Destiny, how's it going? Anyone know max weight for games back pounds? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know where this herd was hanging out. Hmm. Somewhere over here we've got a zone. The gun sounds so good, yeah it does. Super nice. Hey Zero Cool, welcome in. Where do I live? I'm in Canada. Still never seen a level five bighorn sheep? Yeah, they're very rare, they're very rare. I've seen maybe five of them. Maybe only four, actually I think five. I think I've had two trolls and three diamonds. No, I only have two diamond bighorn. They were both max weight. So I think I've only seen four level five bighorn sheep ever. And with the amount of bighorn sheep that you see, hopefully that's the zone there. Uh, yeah, the level fives are really rare. Uh, Luis, coming in with the super chat. Oh, that's a bighorn zone. Thank you so much, Luis. Got a max score, guaranteed estimate. Uh, Gemsbach 358. Was that a level five female? That was a level five female. That's very cool. I think those are always max score. And they're very rare. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. No need to spam the chat, Vincent. Please and thanks. Y you gotta give me more than a minute to respond, man. I appreciate it. Hi, Chip. How you doing, buddy? Okay, I can't find that zone, but it's here somewhere. We've probably got Whitetail down there, too. Oh, we've gotta wind the time back. Ooh. I can't put a tent down. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna steal this tent. Look at that artwork. Holy! Australia map in the future? Uh, hopefully. I'm doing alright, Chip. I'm alive. Thanks, man. What's the difference between leucistic and albino? <laughs> uh, well, the spelling is a lot different. Um, I don't really know what to tell you. They're two different things in real life. You can Google leucistic and albino, and you'll get a an explanation of what they actually. They're, they're both two different genetic mutations, um, but they do look quite similar. Um, but, you know, albino are quite a bit brighter usually. Leucistic kind of usually have like a kind of blue purplish tinge to them. So they almost have like a transparent look to them. You can really tell the difference with the Plains Bison. That's one example. But yeah, a lot of the time they do look very similar. Let's wind this time back. Then steal this here tent. And then... It's a long run. I think it's worth it, though. We can have a great one sitting over there. We kind of got to do it. We kind of got to do it. Albino also have pink hooves or nose, and leucistic is black. There you go. That's There's another difference. Yeah, for sure. They're actually two very different genetic mutations in real life. But yeah, the pink, that's a good point. The pink hooves, the, the pinkish the tinge in the skin around the eyes, things like that are kind of a dead giveaway inside the ears. That's a dead giveaway. That uh, an albino versus a leucistic. I'm feeling a little better, Zero. zero. <laughs> I'll get there. Thanks, man. Um, it's actually my neck today, and I don't know why. My neck is sore. I don't know where that came from. 
Maybe that's part of it. I'm not sure. But it's all good. We'll get there, man. We'll get there. Could be worse. Any rares or diamonds yet? Not yet, Rad. Is it possible for a level 3 whitetail to guarantee guaranteed troll? Level 3? Uh, there shouldn't be. <laughs> a guaranteed level 3 troll? I don't think that's a thing, no. They can, they can troll, but uh, a guaranteed troll? I don't think so. Don't think so. What perks reduce recoil? Well, there's one in particular. Um, shotgun and your shotgun perks. Recoil management, you want to max that out. That'll reduce recoil for every weapon. Albino's your favorite? Luis, nice. Hey, Levi, what's up, man? Hey, Flat. Thanks for popping in, man. Hey, Jenny. Which map is best for whitetail grinding? I would say Rancho at the moment. Do you know if this update will get rid of some trophies in the lodge? It should not. Do I know whether it will? No, I can't guarantee anything, but it's not supposed to. <laughs> if it does, that's a major problem. Uh, as far as I know, that won't be a thing. I also don't know if this update will, uh, you know... Bring dinosaurs back to life. It could. There's a lot of things this update could do. It could make you rich. I have, I have no idea. Will it give you? Will it give you a better chance of winning the lottery? I have no idea. But it could. But it, but it's not. It's not listed in the patch notes. But I mean, anything could happen, right? World's a crazy place that way. Uh, you should put your field of view all the way out, and it makes it look like you run way faster. Uh, no, I won't be doing that. <laughs> field. I like my field of view where it is. Um. Yeah. Is that a thing? Does it make it look like you're running faster? I didn't know that. It's been an hour. Gonna have to continue playing my 30 in reproduction brown trout. 30 inch reproduction brown, brown trout. Brown trout. Serving. Hope you're having a good day, Levi. Hey, Clax. What's up, buddy? Level threes can be guaranteed trolls. Ron's mellow troll had a high estimate of 254. Interesting. Yeah. Somehow I haven't seen one. And all this time, I guess it is possible. But I guess anything's really possible, right? Interesting stuff. I hope so. I have two lottery tickets for tonight. Nice, flat. Hope you win, buddy. Are the docks fixed? Uh, no. I think they were supposed to be responding to callers. I have not tried to hunt them. So I can't confirm whether or not they are responding to callers. Uh, but have they been completely fixed? No. But they are supposed to be coming into callers. I had a level three whitetail today with a max estimate of 254. Oh, there you go. Well, then you know the answer, hot dog. <laughs> you already knew the answer to your question. I guess they're. I guess it's possible then. That's crazy. I've never seen one of those. What's my favorite mountain lion? Ah, uh, melanistic mountain lion. I guess a diamond melanistic mountain lion. Um, one that doesn't bite my face off. Juan Carlos, thank you for the sub one. Our zone's still about the same consistency around the lake. Um, I don't know what you mean by consistency. That could mean a few, a bunch of different things. Um, th th things are different. The zones are, are different. The zones are more spread out. There's a lot more places where you can find whitetail zones where you couldn't before. And the herds are smaller. So I guess the answer would be no. They're, it's not, I mean, it's consistently the way it is. <laughs> It's not consistently the way it used to be. I think I think it's consistently the way that it is now. If that's what you meant. I think they're pretty consistent. But it is different. Different than it used to be. I want sledding. I went sledding with a buddy today. Pretty sure I have frost. Oh no, Clax. Don't be getting frostbite, man. Only got stuck once. Since it's been windy, the snow in the fields isn't good. Well, it sounds like fun, dude. 65 miles per hour. 
Just absolutely flying. Did I not reset the time? I did reset the time. We're good. Oh. Big horns. Will you come out with a white tail grind when the update comes out for Rancho? Will I come out with a white tail grind? I think you meant guide, Landon. I'm thinking about making a white tail guide, updated white tail guide. Uh, if I don't, though, <laughs> pretty much every content creator will. So there will be plenty of white tail guides. I think some of the content creators have already made one, and it's only we're only in alpha, so there will be no shortage of uh, great one guides. And I, I might make one. I might just make one. I'll, I might make one just to have one out there that's just straight to the point. <laughs> uh, you know, not not hunting for 15 minutes, talking about and, and a five minutes of actual guide. I might pop one out, just a quick one, just so you guys have a hotspot map or something. Talk a little bit about it and make it short and sweet. And then, uh, and then just to have the hotspot map in the Discord as well. But, uh, yeah. I don't do 30 minute great one guides, man. It's not my thing. <clears throat> Number of zones at the lake. Yeah, it's changed a little bit, Jacob, yeah. Like... Think think of it this way, basically... Your whitetail are spread out, right? They used to only be at, like, what, eight lakes? In the middle of the map? Now they can be... This entire... Look, all of this. The only place they can't be is right here. Right? So you've got the same amount of whitetail. you got the same amount of deer on your map. But now they can be basically twice as much water. There's twice as much water where you can find whitetail with the same amount of deer. So, but on top of that, you've got smaller herds. So it's going to be different. You're not going to go to a lake and have it look the same as it used to. You might have the same amount of zones. Your herds are going to be smaller. And you're going to have more zones now. You're going to have way more zones than you used to have. Technically, you should. More zones, less deer at each zone, and just way more spread out over your map. Thank you, Ty. Appreciate it, man. What's a good loadout for Quattro? Uh, lots of different options for loadouts. It's going to come down to preference. Like, you've got so many different options for different guns in Quattro. I like to have the 22 LR, or now the 22 AR would be good. You have so many different options, right? I like to I like to have the 22 LR, the, the 243, um, the M1 or the 308 or the 303, and then I like to have the 300 Magnum. You actually don't need the 300 Magnum for Rancho. I usually have it on me anyway. But so many different options for types of loadouts. Doing a diamond mountain line grind, nice gauge. Hey, Jonathan, it's pretty good, man. Thanks for asking. Hope you're having a good day. Just got a 338.7 Diamond Muley Snoop. Nice. Big one. What other YouTubers do I watch? Uh, I like LA Beast, Moist Critical, Bay Area Bugs, Polecat. Good Mythical Morning I watch sometimes. Um, Brian Ames, Andy Schrock. Watch a little bit of PewDiePie still these days. Lots of good YouTubers out there. Um, Nasher. Nasher is awesome. That's NHL 22 content. Well, NHL content in general. Uh, Fooster is really good. I like Fooster. Hollow. Hollow Point. Do I hunt real life? Uh, I would. I'm. I do this every day, but I will be eventually once I get time to do that. That'll be something I'll be doing in the future. Right now, I don't. I, I do the YouTubes. We do the YouTube every day. No days off. 
Okay, let's see. Do we have... I've never even... Looks like I've never been to this lake, huh? Jeez. Thanks, Chris. You too, man. Quality YouTube taste. Nice. Would the ARs be good for Quattro? The ARs are going to be good for every map, yeah, if you like the ARs. They won't be map-specific, I don't think. It all comes down to pre preference, though, Var. Even if I like it, you, you might not. So, update comes out tomorrow. You'll be able to try them out. I think most people are going to definitely use the 308. Uh, as far as the 223, some people might use it. I, I feel like people are, for the most part, going to want to use the 243 or the Mosin. 223 doesn't have a whole lot of kick to it at the moment. But yeah, it really does just come all, all come down to preference. And that's a, that's a good thing, right? It's going to make it fun for you guys to try them out for yourselves. And see what you like. See what you want to use. Bighorn sheep zones just everywhere. Why do I have the centilitre icon on the bottom right of my screen if I don't have the beta? Uh, that's a good question for EW. I don't know what to tell you. You don't have the icon, though. You just have the little square. To be fair. If I had to guess, I would I would guess that they didn't intend to leave that there. And it just kind of happened. Do I play hockey? I used to. I haven't played hockey in a while, but I, yeah, I grew up playing ice hockey, roller hockey, floor hockey, all the hockey. Do you think the new 308 is better than the M1? Uh, I like it better. Technically, neither is better, though. <laughs> Some people are still going to want to use the M1. Um, but I think the majority of people will like the 308. On paper, on paper, the 308 is better. Across the board. But that's not always everything. Doesn't look like I have wait till at this lake. So, I want to get a tent somewhere up here. Maybe right up in there. Eventually. I could still have a zone up there, though, hey? Okay, let's go around. How many weapon packs are coming out, and is there any new maps coming out? Holden, where you been? <laughs> You're out of the loop. All right, so we've got a, you've got a big update coming out tomorrow, and you've got a weapon pack DLC coming out tomorrow as well. No new maps for a while. We just got a new map in December. So next new map will probably be June or July. Nice, Kalen. Yeah, I mean, the M1 is still the M1. I mean, it's, you know, or some people will probably still use the 303. You know, not everybody is going priority, to prioritize the, the power and the speed. Some people use weapons because they like the way they sound. Or they, they like the way they look. That is the thing. Or, you know, some people use weapons because they use those weapons in real life. <clears throat> um, I can also see some people not liking the feel of the 308. It is very quick. Um, I'm still getting used to the feel of it. Like, it might feel too quick for some people. Some people might like that, like, slow, steady feeling of something like a 303. Um, for newer players, it's a more advanced weapon to use, I think, because of that. Was that a mule deer call? I think that was muleys. This is a cool area over here. I've never ex explored this spot before. It's kind of funny. What's this? Whitetail. Hang on. This is probably a zone right here. Can't seem to get the, the zones from the tracks, though.
unless they were just passing through here. How many diamonds do I have? Um, about 350 now. <laughs> Let's do the math. Uh, so 446 minus, what was it, 98? 344. Because we've got to take away 115. That puts us at 331 and then add 17. 348. Yeah, we minus 98 from that to get the number. 348. Two more for 350. Do tents go to storage with map reset? No. No, your maps and your... I'm sorry, your tents and your, your hunting structures, your tripods, etc., those all stay. A pop reset, all it's going to do is reset your... Well, it should reset all your zones. It should reset your hunting pressure. It didn't for me in the beta on two of the four maps. I've still got my icons. I've still got my hunting pressure on all four maps. I can't explain that. I haven't got an answer from EW as to what that means, if it means anything. But all it's going to do, it's going to reset your populations and reset your zones. Your progress will not be affected. Your, your tents and your tripods and such will stay the same. There's some mule deer. Oh. Couple of good bucks. There is a whitetail zone over here somewhere because we had whitetail here. Shot one right there. Gotta find that zone. Remember the game Simpsons Hit and Run on PS2? Um, I don't think I played any Simpsons games for PlayStation 2, man. I remember the old Simpsons game for normal Nintendo, and the one for Super. I think there was one for Super Nintendo. I remember the arcade one. Those games were super hard. No, Eli, that's broken. The counters were broken for a while. Diamonds were counting in the counter as great ones. And golds were counting as diamonds. So that's why you have to do the math to figure out. Uh, I had to keep track of how many I was shooting. So when they fixed it, now I know exactly how many uh, to subtract from that total. Definitely do not have 20 great ones. I have three. I got three of them. This white tail zone is, but we know we have one here anyway. Really curious about this lake. That lake now has white tail. Yeah, I don't know what it was with the Simpsons games, Levi. They were always so hard. They were like they were impossible games, <laughs> especially the really old ones. Does anybody remember the old Beavis and Butthead game? I think it was Super Nintendo. Completely impossible. Like it's like they made it impossible. You couldn't get past the first couple levels. Those games were fun though. Digimon on PlayStation was so hard. Yeah, I miss those old games though, man. Those were the days. Games are too easy now. An albino lion camo? Congrats. Very cool, man. Very cool. Just got a 219 to 254 Sika. Uh, what? Smiley? 219 to 254? Did you get a screenshot of that estimate? I need to see that. I've never heard of a Sika uh, scoring above 219. I don't think they score above 219. 
So I would imagine that's going to score 219. Hey, DG, I appreciate you trying to help, man. Especially if there was no mods here, but there are mods here, and that is a rule, just like no repeating is a rule. No modding if you're not a mod. It is a rule, so please and thanks. I appreciate you, though. Favorite species and map? Uh, my favorite map is Yukon Valley. I don't have a favorite species. I haven't figured out a way to honestly answer that question yet. I just, I love so many of the species in this game. Sorry, I know that's not... Roosevelt Elk are up there. They're one of my favorites. But I'd be lying if I just named one. I don't have one that's like always my favorite. It tends to change from time to time. Kind of like my favorite everything else in the world. Uh, but yeah, Yukon Valley is pretty much always my favorite map, I think. Remember being stuck on a boss in Ninja Guide in black for like three months? Yeah, man, those were the days when you get stuck on a part of... A video game like for like a long like months. Then you finally beat it. Or like uh I think it was the first Metal Gear Solid on PS2. That game was awesome. I spent so much time playing that. Too many games to choose from. That's a thing too, dude. Especially as a as a streamer, content creator, it's it's makes things so difficult. You want to play everything, but you can't. Just don't have the time for it. Just went to my old, lo old lodge on my main, and I found the female red fox. Didn't, didn't get it back. Went on my friend's lodge and found my old account lodge. Pro Armand. Okay. Uh, favorite type of pizza example like New York or Detroit well to be completely fair I haven't had either because I've never been to New York or Detroit so I haven't had authentic New York style pizza or Detroit I feel like it would probably be New York though from what I've seen I used to love Tony Hawk's Underground 1 and 2 oh man I remember the first Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. We played the crap out of that. We used to stay up all night playing that game. Subnautica Jack? Jack, are you following me on Twitch? I think you probably are not. I've streamed a lot of Subnautica on Twitch, man. And I did like it a lot. It's a fantastic game. And I'll be playing it again, but I lost my save. I have to start over. I lost my save in Subnautica when I upgraded my PC because I didn't back it up. I thought it would be fine without backing it up. Uh, but it wasn't. My save's gone. But we will be starting over on Twitch. All right. Gotta keep our eyes peeled for White Cell here. Detroit style. I can't remember exactly what Detroit style is like. Is the Chicago is like the deep dish, right? Chicago style. That's the super thick pizza, right? Better than Flinter. Um, I don't think I'm better than Flinter. I think Flinter and I are two very different. Uh, st we have different styles. You might prefer my my style better. Flinter is a fantastic content creator. But thank you for that, Jamie. I'll take it as a, I'll take it as a compliment. Appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the content. Spent a lot of time on SSX. It was an amazing game. SSX. What game is that again? Flat. 
Uh, Eli, I don't want to start rumors or anything, but I've seen things on TikTok that the update is bugging and people have lost diamonds. Uh, just was, just was people to be aware of tamed, I've tamed down everything. Eli, don't, I wouldn't take it upon yourself to try to, uh, I haven't heard anything of that. The only people that have this beta are the content creators and I feel like if that was a thing, we do all chat, we all chat in Discord. There's, we have a content creator channel where we all chat. So I feel like I would have seen that. I don't know where you're hearing that from. I haven't heard anything about that. So I, th I think we're good. As far as I know, we're, we're good on that. Just killed my first uh, mountain lion. It was a silver, grace and nice. Did anyone play Dino Crisis? Oh, that sounds familiar. Yeah, there should definitely be white tail here somewhere. Snowboarding game. Oh, uh, okay. I remember a couple old, old snowboarding games. I can't remember what they were called. Did anyone play Wave Racer? Wave Race? Wave Racer? Wave Race. I think it was just called Wave Race. Friend 64? The game was so much fun. <laughs> we played that way too much. When do Springbok drink? I can't confirm because I haven't found them in Verhaga yet. Uh, I mean, they, they drink at 1500 right now until the update at least tomorrow. But with the update, I can't confirm. I think they still drink at the same time. I'm not 100% sure. There's, okay, one white tail. Shot a nine legendary gator, died instantly. Stuck on some grass in the middle of the river. Couldn't get to it. Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that, man. So that's not a good sign. I don't that oh, never mind, there's more up there. I was gonna say. If we're getting single doe zones, because I've seen a couple, that is not one. But hopefully that's not going to be the, uh, a thing. Because it never was before on Rancho. That's been, it's been so nice not having single doe zones like on uh, Layton in Mississippi. But yeah, this is what most of the zones look like now. A buck and a couple does. They're way more spread out. So we've got one zone. I've, I've got to have more zones than that, though. This lake is huge. Ross, thank you for the sub, Ross. Thank you for the sub, and as well. And I missed that alert. I'm so sorry. If you're still here, thank you so much. What animals are on for Hanga? Oh, well. There's uh, lions, African lions, springbokers, gemsbokers, wildebeesters, scrub hares, kudus, laser kudus, and uh, and uh, cape bufflers, and uh, might be that might be that might be all. That's I think I think that's all of them. Is the Mississippi map worth it? It might be worth it to you. It might not. I'm not sure if you would like it, Ross. <laughs> some people love it. Some people don't love it. So hard to say whether or not it would be worth it for you. Luckily, the DLCs are very very affordable. So uh, I would say all the maps are worth it for what they cost. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Confusion, not yet. We're just kind of uncovering new whitetail zones. If we come across trophies today, that'll be a bonus. A 
Maybe a fresh spawn great one. But we're kind of just investigating the map. Seeing where these new zones are. I think after the, for this next time reset, I think we're going to go back to some of the older lakes. Where I've got zones and see what those zones look like now. See what's changed. And then at some point I want to get down to the river. Or not the river, the, uh, the coast at the bottom too. Let's see what we've got for zones. But as you can see, I mean this whole lake, we've only found one zone. We started here. Just the one so far, and only three deer at that zone. So it's not like it used to be, man. You're not gonna have 50 deer at one lake anymore. Today in Discord, in a Discord server, I'm not gonna say who's, but server, but I got nicknamed new because I did, uh, did know that you could have a nickname, DG. Okay, sorry to hear that. I wouldn't worry too much about whoever called you a noob. <laughs> I wouldn't let that get you down. Inter internet bullies are kind of... It's kind of lame, you know? Ma imagine being that guy making fun of people on the internet. You couldn't be you couldn't be worse than that, I promise you. We gotta get to that little lake too. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that the closest outpost I have to there? I have to get down and get that, because I think there's an outpost over here somewhere. Is that an outpost? There has to be an outpost over here. Do you guys know? I wonder if that's an outpost. Okay, maybe I won't go to there today. That's gonna it's gonna take forever. I gotta check that lake, though. Hey, Bumpy. Like the new guns? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, the 308's crazy. The 308's like the new best gun in the game, probably. Um, the 22's pretty good. 223's a little weak. But the 3R, even if you're only gonna use the 308, it makes the weapon pack completely worth it just for that 308. It's insanely good. Let's wind the time back just a little bit. Just get a little bit of a wind back. We'll go back to about 835. <laughs> hey, Lewis, what's up, man? Little lake in the middle, still an OP lake for Whitetail. Not like it used to be flat. None of none of the lakes, like it's, everything has been thinned down a little bit and spread out. So La Hacienda, you're referring to that lake, I believe. Not gonna be like it used to be. We'll go look at it. But at first, I want to go. This is, this is now a whitetail spot, from what I've heard. So let's go check it out. Let's see if we got some zones. Doom. Doom was awesome, Levi. Did you ever read the novel, the Doom novel, from back in the day? I still have it. So good. I must have read it like five times. Will my Great One Grind restart? Well, great, great One Grinds don't really restart. Right? What do you mean by restart? Let's, let's talk about it, Jamie. There's a very, there's a very uh, common misconception upon, uh, in the community. I think, I think part of it is that you guys see the content creators counting their kills, and I think that gives off the impression that you're getting closer the more that you kill, and in a roundabout way, you are. Because... Of course, you're always getting closer to the Great One. But, uh... An animal respawning as the Great One has nothing to do with what you've done previously, right? Animals don't have more of a chance of respawning as the Great One the more animals that you kill. If I kill that buck, it doesn't matter if I've killed five bucks previously on my map or if I've killed 5,000. It's got the same chance of respawning as a Great One. Either way. So you're technically, the only progress you're losing is your setup. My first great one, Red Deer, was a fresh spawn. So, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to get any response for that. It's just a rare spawn. Just like anything else, just like a diamond or a rare. It's just a rare spawn on your map.
Any idea on when the update comes out tomorrow? The updates usually happen at like 2 or 3 a.m. Pacific time. So I'm imagining, I don't know for sure, but I'm imagining it'll be the same as usual. Got my first time with fallow deer the other night. Low pat rat. Nice, man. Hey, warrior. How you doing, man? What's up? The Warriors was an awesome game. I don't remember that one, Ty. How many great ones do I have? I have three. Starting to take some tents down, so I'm ready tomorrow. I would hold off and and check your population because as it stands, Plasma, you're not going to have all new zones, right? Some of your old zones are still going to be there. You're going to want to keep some of your setups. You're going to base it on how, what your map looks like after the update. So I wouldn't take things down just yet, man. You might be making more work for yourself doing that. Do you mean taking tents down in like different maps? That might be what you meant. Hopefully they're going to add, hip add hippos. Yeah, man. Hippos and Silver Ridge Peaks, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, Caspu22, just started playing a week ago and your vids have helped me a lot to start. Got lucky, you got a diamond mule there. Nice, that's awesome. Very cool. What are these white tail doing? You going down to this lake to drink by any chance? Like they're going to this lake. Oh. Nice, nice. Four great ones. Nope. We're trying. We're working on number four. Oh, hi. Hi there. Oh, hey. Any rare ones? That's a lot of turkeys in one spot. turkeys. Kind of tempted to start blasting them with the 22. But I kind of want that zone too, wherever they're going. Looks like they're going for a little bit of a rip though. Should we do it? I don't know why they're not flying away. Wow. Some good money. I'll take it. Trivial male pheasant. Oh. All right. We got a white tail zone there somewhere there. Hey, hot dog. No trophies yet, man. Did you ever play Metal, Metal, Metal Gear Salt? Yeah, I was just talking about that, actually. <laughs> I did. Love the Rocky Mountain Hippos. Oh, yeah, totally. They're my favorite. Last weekend, I got an albino bighorn monkey. Congrats, monkey. It's just like the movie, Ty? Nice. Favorite rare for Whitetail? Uh, melanistic. Light buff. Light brown. Buff. I wish these all looked different. <laughs> That'd be nice. Good cash.
Another game show my age. Echo the Dolphin. Oh, I remember that. That sounds familiar. Echo the Dolphin. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I haven't thought about that game in a very long time. Altered Beast, I don't remember. Echo the Dolphin was really cool, wasn't it? I know, I know we played that. Hey, Rico, what's up, man? Tuning in for like five minutes before I'm going to my buddy's house, so I won't be able to watch much. Well, thanks for popping in, Rico. Appreciate you. After I get a diamond, I'm never hunting Blacktail again, Jam. Well, I hope you get one soon, man. All I want is a diamond mule deer, and I have five troll level fives. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you get a diamond soon, Smiley. That's a lot of trolls. Yes, it would. That's exactly right, Barner. A.M., right? So in the, in the morning. Early in the like Middle of the night, basically. Early in the morning. Okay, calm down, though. Need that zone. Why are you freaking out? Don't freak out. You're fine. You're fine. It's a big buck. Gotcha. Why am I able to? Oh, that was weird. I was still still able to spot it while it was dead. Different. Ten is gator time. Depends. Are you hunting them while they're resting or or feeding, warrior? They they rest from nine all the way until like sixteen thirty. That's when I. That's the time I would hunt them. I like the later rest time. Like, I would set the time for 12.30. Come on, fresh spawn, great one. Come on. Finally got my rare diamond. It was an albino fallow deer. Wow, Zach. Congrats, man. Got a monster diamond rosy, a 413.5 Archie, very cool. What's this? Okay, that doe must have spooked. Yeah. Did you relieve when you're hunting geese? That they are only about did I did I relieve that baseball? I'm not sure what you mean. Did I realize? Did I realize that they were yeah. Yeah, so a little bit of a nerf in the amount of money you get from geese. I think it's more realistic that way. Geese, geese shouldn't pay a thousand each. It's too much. A little bit OP. So I'm totally fine with it. Still make a ton of money from geese. Fly swatter weapon pack. <laughs> Heck yeah. What's my biggest time of white tail? I've got a few max weights, but I've never gotten one that scored higher than 271 point something. Where's your cape from the other stream? Big horns or small? Uh, small, small horns. 152. Not red fox. Any tips? Um, I would watch my Yukon Valley quick guide. I'm hoping you're hunting them on Yukon Valley. Uh, if so, I have a Yukon Valley Quick Guide with all the hotspots, and I think I, I talk a little bit about them in that guide, too. Uh, just hunt them near water at their hotspots during their drink time. Um, takes a lot of patience. Very tricky animal to hunt. 
but once you get your zones down, if you're gonna do a, a, like a full-on grind, get your zones, find your zones, get your tents and things set up, should be should be good to go. Shot a 273 down with Whitetail, nice. A 274.6 Whitetail, nice, yeah. I mean, they do score higher than 271. I just haven't found one. Most people, I would say, do have one bigger than that. For some reason, my max weights were all... I think they've all been 271s. Got a male pheasant somewhere in here. they doing are they drinking way in there oh my gosh I don't know how I feel about that come down to the water it's so rude I'm surprised I even found that zone I probably shouldn't have even found that Hey Dodge, welcome. What gun should you use to hunt Whitetail? Have you tried the M1? That's a good one. You could maybe try the 6.5 or you could try the 303 or you could try the 270. I like the M1. So far my done black blacktail grind of uh, three diamond whitetail and <laughs> zero blacktail. Sounds sounds about right. Seems legit. First time whitetail was a 271, shot six times in two days at the start of my grind. Nice. Congrats. Got a level five moose that was a troll. Still searching for my first diamond elite gaming. I hope you do get a, a diamond one. Yeah, that was super weird that they're up in here. rough. I got no go to my b-ball game, so bye. Monkey. See you later, man. Have a good game. You don't have any diamond white tail? You'll get one, Jamie. Are the moose on that bigger than the one? No. Nope. Same species. Same chance of them being big or small or any, any of those things. No different. It was only a silver. Did you shoot it with the right weapon, Holden? Sounds like you didn't get all the harvest checks. If it was a big four, it should have been a gold. Or even a diamond if it was a really big level four. Fallow deer collar, uh, you want the antler rattler. Don't know if you remember me, you used to always be here. If you do want to say hi, uh, Asher, I think I remember you, Asher. How's it going? White tail, white tail. Oh, there's a zone.
zone way over there. Shot it with the 300? Hmm, weird. Did you get a vital organ? Are you sure that you got all four of the harvest checks, man? Couple tiny little one trivials there. shoot them because I might have zones right over here. Don't want to spook these guys if I do. Checked Grim's Lodge and he has four Grim Whitetail. Oh, he's got more than that. I think he's got seven or eight Grim Whitetail. <laughs> For some reason, I shot three mules and two at one zone and one at another. Now things, now nothing is going there. You might not have gotten your respawns yet. They don't always come back instantly. You might have to kill some more animals on your, on your map. Perhaps it might be a thing. Pretty wild. How many do we have so far? One, two, three. Three zones at this lake so far. Hey, White Wolf, no diamonds yet today. Welcome to the stream, man. Always wanted a goat collar for the Ibex and other goat species. Yeah, that would be really nice, Endless, for sure. Yeah, and that could like potentially cover so many species having a goat collar. Like feral goats, mountain goats, all the ibex. Yeah, that'd be great. Especially if they made it so that it worked on the sheep as well. Mouflon and uh, bighorn. How can you get more than three great one white tail? What do you mean, Casey? Watching you chase the cape buffalo the other night, fell asleep. Why did you use the crossbow? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> do you mean instead of hip firing it? We te we tested the hip fire on another cape buffalo after spooking the nine legendary, and it the aim was way off. So um, yeah, you can't really hip fire. It's not really a thing. It's not calibrated. The aim is way, way off. So I decided to do it with the crossbow instead, man. Yeah. What if Marco Polo sheep? What if, man? That'd be that'd be pretty sick. That'd be pretty sick. Is it weird that I'm almost as excited for the 22 Hornet as I am for the ARs? I don't think so. Yeah, that's fantastic. I mean, yeah, I think different people are going to be more excited for different aspects of the update and the weapon pack. Absolutely. 20 Hornet, 22 Hornet actually uh, surprised me a little bit. It's a good weapon. Definitely a viable weapon now. It's even good, it's even good for geese. Which I kind of didn't think it would be.
Need more multi mounts? Yeah, for sure. I agree. Or custom customizable ones? Yeah. I totally agree. What lake am I at? I'm at in the bottom bottom left. Got white tail down there. Why does it say early access? Because it's early access, my man. This is the creator beta. All right, so we've got early access to the update and the modern rifle weapon pack. Yeah, man, it's pretty sweet. We've had it since Friday. Great one, number seven down, Thomas. What in the world? Wait. Seven great ones, that, that must be it. That's a typo, right? 1,900 kills? Thomas, I think you have... I think we've been over this before. Um, I think that's your, your kills in Rancho, and then you got a bunch on Layton too, right? If I remember correctly, you, you have like 10,000 kills, don't you? Nine total great ones. Wait, what? Hang on a second. Seven great ones and 1,800 kills? 20 diamonds, six rares, and nine trolls. In 1,800 kills? 9,984 for six? Now I'm really confused. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's very misleading. <laughs> okay, so over 10,000 kills. So 9,984 plus 1,876. Okay, that's really good numbers for, I guess that would be just about 1,200 kills. Yeah, nine great ones in 12, about 12,000 kills, nine great ones. That's awesome. That's like, that's insane. It's, it's an insane, uh, Frequency, the frequency of great ones that you're getting is off the charts. But then again, <laughs> then again, I got uh, two great one red deer and 850 kills. So who am I? To, who am I to talk? <laughs> two great ones and two super rares. Also, the minimum weight piebald red deer that I have is a, is a super rare, but I don't consider it that. But it is one. It's just as rare as the diamond pie ball, I think. It's just not as appreciated. A little over 2k for reds, around uh, 12,500 to 13k. Yeah, I wouldn't count the red deer. I wouldn't count your red deer kills into your whitetail grind, though. It's a separate grind. Second great one came after 3k kills. Well, I mean, it's like you see people like uh, Lunar. I don't know if you're here, Lunar, but I think Lunar, it took, what, 12,000 kills for one great one? <laughs> I don't know what you were doing wrong, Lunar. That's friggin' strange. So Thomas has nine great ones in the amount of, the amount of time that it took you to get one. Seems very weird. Ten twenty. Let's see what La Hacienda looks like. Not picking up his kills. Eh, that could have. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to say what whether or not uh, that has any effect on it. Bobcats somewhere. Are you trying, Bumpy? I've got guides. Have you watched the guides? It's a lot of fun. Once you get it all set up and you get that out of the way, 
Um, but the thing is, like, if you're grinding on Rancho, your Rancho is going to change quite a bit with the update tomorrow. I would really recommend grinding for Red Deer. Grind for a Red Deer Great One on Quattro Kalinas. Quattro is changing tomorrow too, though. I guess it depends if you want the white tail or the red deer more, but. Oh. Just try and discover all the places on the map. Oh yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah, I get that done first for sure. Yeah, it's a grind. I mean, you might get super lucky and get one quick, but like for me it took a, a very long time to get the first one. But it's pretty crazy feeling when you first find one. So, here's a really good example, right? Like La Hacienda, this used to have 12 to 15 white tail over there, and now it's just 3. 3 little humble little white tail. That's a Mexican bobcat zone. I might not even have white tail there now. Got that zone still. Same thing. Three white tail. And it doesn't look like I have any on the island anymore. So La Hacienda majorly nerfed. Majorly nerfed. And then whether or not they're still at this zone in the bushes. Doesn't look like it. Top up on the tripod. I used to have five zones here with like 50 to 60 whitetail. So, huge change. Big, big, big change. Three there, three there. Two hundred twenty-six kills for the for your great one, Jay Walker. Nice. You're at twenty-three hundred kills, Winter. Are there two Winter Wolves, by the way? I know there's a because there was a Winter Wolf in chat, I believe, that was a member, right? <laughs> or am I losing it? All I see or kill are minor. Nothing good showing up. Guess I have. To kill a bunch of the minor ones and then get better ones to spawn. Not necessarily bumpy, it's all random. You're gonna have some big bucks, some small bucks. I don't know why you're finding just the small ones, but it's uh it's all pretty random. You'll have big ones on your map too. But yeah, definitely kill the small ones. And then uh, as far as diamonds and rares and great ones spawning, it's just a rare spawn. What are your thoughts on using the glitches? What do you mean the glitches, Jack? I don't use anything like a glitch. I don't know what you're referring to exactly, but... We we don't do exploits or glitches or mods or cheats or any of that stuff. Very much no. Very much no. And I wouldn't recommend doing that. It's not cool. I mean, it basically makes anything that you've done, like if you get a diamond and you're using a mod or a glitch, or if you get, you know what I mean, a great one, it's, you, you didn't really get any of that stuff. 
if you're using any kind of a mod or an advantage, right? So it's, um... You can't really be proud of it, right? People that use that stuff are just kind of looking for attention. They want to show off trophies that they got illegitimately, and it's, there's no, you're not going to feel good about it, because you know that, you know that you cheated. <laughs> so, as much as you might get people going, wow, congrats, you're awesome, you're not going to, you're not going to feel good about it, because, because deep down, you're going to know that you didn't do it legitimately, you're going to feel bad. Everyone has a conscience, conscience. Right? Will my Hirschfelden zones be wiped? Hirschfelden is not getting touched, as far as I know, other than the geese being fixed. Don't think anything's changed in the Hirschfelden, unfortunately. Hopefully, someday that'll be changed. Just saw a video of someone on TRO get a moose, and it was not the mission because it was a common. I've heard of that. I still haven't seen that. I've heard of people saying that they're finding moose on TRO. Pretty weird. Hey, Ibex, no trophies yet, man. For some reason, I can't find any whitetail on Lane Lakes or Mississippi, only on Rancho. They're around. You might not be looking in the right spots. Maybe you're not looking at the right time. You gotta be at the right place at the right time to find them. Maybe you're wearing a backpack, or maybe you're running too much. Spooking stuff. Blocked you on TikTok, Caleb? I don't think I've blocked anyone on TikTok. Oh, unless, Caleb, are you C. Vaden? I blocked that guy for obvious reasons. Were you the guy that was following me around stealing trophies? Stream sniping? Did you not understand that that was not cool? So, if, unless you're that guy, I haven't blocked you on TikTok. Stole the level 5 caribou that I still don't know was, if it was a diamond or not. Oh, you are C. Vaden, Caleb Vaden. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. That's a good way to get blocked. That was super not cool of you and your friend to do that. Yeah, and then he comes in here asking why he was blocked on my TikTok. It's like, what? Really? Gosh. Crazy people, man. Don't be like that guy. Did I pick up both of these? No. What diamond animal have you not got? I've, there's a list. I've got, there's still like 10 of them that I haven't gotten. Uh, a good portion of them on Rancho Mississippi, just because I haven't really uh, put in the work to get them yet. But I will, I will be doing that. Hey, Dr. What's up? Do you suggest wearing a backpack? You can put the backpack on, like if you're setting up. If you need to carry around tripods and tents, and you wanted to be able to do that. You don't have, you want to be able to have the room to do that and carry like both of those things. You know what I mean? Then yeah, put it on, but don't forget to take it off when you're hunting. If you wear it when you're hunting, you're going to be spooking animals like crazy. It increases the noise you make, it increases your scent. Or no, it just increases the noise, but yeah, it's, it's significant. 1102. You can use the mods to have fun? Yeah, sure. I mean, you're, yeah. I mean, nobody can tell you that you can't use, install some mods to, you know, be able to run underwater or whatever. Like, there's all kinds of different mods. But, um, the people that are installing mods and then, you know, spawning in animals and trading animals and 
posting animals as if they're legit, you know, great ones and, and trophies and stuff. That's not cool, I don't think. I don't condone that, but if you're just playing the game and having fun, you're free to do what you want. And nobody can tell you not to do that. It's up to you at the end of the day. Um, as a content creator, I don't touch that stuff. I don't go anywhere near it. And I never will. Yeah, so Whitetail are quite a bit different, guys. It's quite a bit different. Very spread out. Still got that zone. I've still got that zone. Were any of you guys in that stream when when that kid and his his buddy I found the level five caribou and they kind of rushed, started shooting it and chasing it around? Were you guys there for that? Can you imagine if those two like that whole time didn't even realize that they were doing something wrong? <laughs> it's almost like he didn't even know that that was not cool. You know, <laughs> it's like why would he block me? Ah, oh, it's crazy. What a crazy world. Did you vote on the new map survey? Your thoughts? I voted uh, West Africa. Indeed, indeed I did. Like, was he in the stream and doing that, like, with it muted or something? Did he not, did the, like, it's almost like he didn't know that that was... So, it's so weird. Do we want to maybe do some investigating here? I kind of want to see a little bit more of Verhaga. You can vote for a new map. Expansive Worlds on YouTube, they sometimes hold polls. They'll do a poll and you can vote for stuff. Whether or not that means, you know, whether or not that's the map that they'll... Sometimes they'll ask like what people would want to see the most as the next great one or what people would like to see the most as the next map and things like that. Things of that nature. Should I dismantle this? I feel like I could put it maybe... Yeah, I'll take it for now. I need to see lions. We need to see lions. We haven't checked the lions yet. Hey, DG, welcome back, man. Boats yet? Nash, what do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. You ask the question in a form of a sentence. <laughs> I can I can do a better job answering your question. Are you asking me if they've added boats to the game yet? They added uh, transfer points on the river in Mississippi. They have not added added uh, drivable boats to the game yet. If that's what you're wondering. All right. So as far as I know, lions drink at 12:30. 12, 12, 30. Same as always. If I create an account, will I lose every trophy that I got? Create an account? What do you mean, Sabla? Create a Gmail account? Create what account? A lot of people voted Africa, cool, whatever, the more new species, the better. Yeah, absolutely. New species is what I want to. Oh, heck yeah. All right, lions. I'd be crazy if they came up here. I haven't really heard about what, if anything, has changed with their home ranges. Drink time's the same. Almost lost a diamond whitetail to some Joe Schmo, but luckily it turned on the Jets and got it. Nice, Jan. Heck yeah.
Hey, Macy. Um, I think I'm gonna have some pot roast. Some veggies, and potatoes. I'm trying to. I have to be eat. I have to eat super healthy right now. Um, you know, infl inflammation fighting foods and things. So I'm eating a lot of fruit, a lot of veggies. I'm trying to stay away from anything processed. So that's what I'll be eating. It's delicious though. Love me a good pot roast. If I switch to PC, you can't keep my trophies, or can I? Um, it'll be separate. You'll have a separate account, like PC and, and console, completely separate. I don't think lions will come up here. But I really don't know for sure. Hey, Trippy, what's up, man? Is Crow streaming? Oh, I didn't even know that. How you doing today? Um, I am good. Thanks for asking, Trippy. How you doing? I didn't even know Crow was streaming. Should I do a great one guide for tomorrow on Rancho? Do you guys need that? I feel like like so many creators are going to be posting <laughs> uploading a, a Rancho great one guide tomorrow. Oh my gosh! No way! <laughs> okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. Friggin' lions drinking up here. But I was not expecting it. Didn't actually think that there would be lions up here. Well, there's one anyway. That's pretty wild. Quattro, great one, guide. I can't. I'm not ready for that yet, Clax. I don't know. I don't have that down. I've got the white tail figured out. I don't have the the red deer figured out just yet. Not enough to put out a guide. I don't. That's the other thing is I don't rush out guides, right? I make sure that I know that I got it down and I've done my homework. Hey, pelicans! Pelicans can eat human children. Wow. <laughs> There's a name. Thank you so much for coming in with the membership. Much appreciated. How you doing? That's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, we got a male lion here. Should do it. If I was hearing that guy or a different one, but I heard a lion. Yeah, there's another one. There's another one here. Oh my goodness. Maiden call? Did I did I not spook you? I was making all kinds of noise. Hi coming in. My goodness. Where are you going? Uh-oh. Bad wind. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop in there. Drinking right there in the bush? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's obnoxious. Well, at least we got the zone, though.
crazy. Looking forward to seeing your parquet hotspot video, Ty. Yeah, it's coming soon, man. Um, I just haven't, I haven't, I've been putting off putting, doing the rest of the quick guides. People don't watch them. <laughs> it seems that people would rather watch a 30 minute guide and get the same amount of info or less. <laughs> Than a quick seven minute guide for whatever reason but i will finish the thing with the quick guides now is now i've got to redo quattro i've got to redo for uh not for honga i've got to re redo quattro and rancho so you know and if they're gonna redo every map it's like i just don't know if it's worth it i might just it might be better to just make the hotspot maps and put them in discord rather than putting so much time into doing a video if they're if they're gonna if, if things are gonna keep changing all the time I don't know. I don't really consider my channel a, a guide channel. There's definitely some other content creators that uh, do a lot of guides. But uh, when I do do guides, it's just literally because I feel like it's a guide that needs to be made, I guess. But, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see where we go with it. Chunky, what's up, dude? Remember for two months already? Holy, time flies, man. How you doing, buddy? Calling a great one lion in Cape Buffalo. I would love to get an albino lion. Maybe we can get one of those today. Dentist appointment, DG, tomorrow at 9 a.m. I have to go to the dentist before I can play. Well, that's good, though. At least you'll have good, uh, good tooth health. It's a good thing. Thanks, Endless. I have less than a month before I get my purple badge. Macy, oh nice. That's awesome. Hey Peyton, this is the creator beta early access. And since I'm one of the official content creators, I get to I get to the I get access to the, the beta. And then the full release is tomorrow. How rare is a crown wildebeest? If they're if they're what they used to be, I don't know if it's, I don't know if anything has changed with them. They used to be one of the most rare rares in the game, like top five most rare. So unless that has changed, I can't confirm whether it has or not. Then yeah, they're one of the most rare rares in the game. It's hard to keep track with the rares nowadays. Okay, there's a female. watching since 9k hey buckshot can't seem to make any streams well i'm glad you made this one jay appreciate you any ma member with a yellow badge yet uh the memberships have only been a thing for about 15 months so uh the yellow badge is two years so we'll start to see some yellow badges in about seven months so it's a little ways away still what are good spots for lions? We're just figuring that out right now since uh, their populations have changed. Their home ranges have changed. So that's what we're investigating at the moment. Oh, there, there was a male down here. Look at that. I 
don't want them being in the tall grass. <laughs> Got the zone. Don't be in the tall grass. Dropped it. Yep. It's nice to see a male down there. Well, thanks, Nash. I'm glad. Glad to hear that. Heck yeah. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Wish I was at home doing work. It was easy for me at school. Can't seem to do work. That's It was easy for me at school. I can't seem to do work. Oh, I hear you. You prefer doing your school work at home? I gotcha. I gotcha. Just got a diamond pronghorn, Jamie. Nice. How long have you been playing The Hunter Call of the Wild? I started in early or late 2017. I played off and on. I was really bad at it until early 2020. <laughs> and then in May of 2020, I started doing the, the YouTube videos. And uh, was still pretty bad at it at that time. But I did videos anyway. <laughs> Check my maps, found my first piebald muley. Nice, Adam. Heck yeah, buddy. Can't even count to two. <sighs> the teacher just kicked you out of class. Are you at school right now on your phone watching my stream? I feel like if I was your teacher, I would have kicked you out too. <laughs> just saying. All the best to you, buddy. All the best to you. Appreciate you watching. But I could definitely see that being a thing if you're watching the stream while you're in class. Uh, last time I was here, you had 14k subs. Well, welcome back, Asher. How long ago was that? That would have been... December? End of November? De early December? 14k? I think? Yeah. Politely ask my great one why tell the spawn, please. I know the feeling. It'll spawn when you least expect it. Oh, I see you. What's with all these five medium males? They're all fives. Jeez, they lay down when they drink, hey? So now that they're laying down and not standing up at all when they drink, they're going to be even harder to see if they're in a bush or in tall grass, which a lot of the time they are in a bush or in tall grass. So I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> they may have made them harder to find as if it wasn't already hard enough. So mixed feelings about that. Like, we were just kind of lucky that he was out in the open there. I could have I could have a bunch more here that I wouldn't know. Let's see if we can spine him.
Oh, 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 there was another drink zone here. Look at that. Hang on. Where'd this guy go? Been watching since 10 to 12k. I appreciate that, Asher. That's amazing. Hey, Brayden. Good to see you, man. Is there a way to auto run? There is. I don't use it. I can't remember what the key is on PC. Tripod it up. Yeah, that would help a little bit. But yeah, I mean, if they're if they're laying in the grass or in a bush, a lot of time you won't you won't see them even on a tripod. Change the title. Nah, keep people guessing. We'll make it interesting. What lakes have lions so far, and what what I like, <laughs> Braden? Uh, so far up there, there's lions. That's different. Still lions there, and I believe this is the third one I've checked. So all three we're three for three at the moment, and there's a female up there too. Another male. That zone. Wonder if he's gonna come back. Been watching since 8K, Landon. That's amazing, man. I appreciate it. Imagine if there were Mela lions. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Been around since 3k, Pelicans? Nice, man. Never big live stream viewer until recently. Oh, nice. That's awesome. I hope you're enjoying the streams. Thanks, Nash. Appreciate it. What time? They still they drink at the same time. 12, 12 in the afternoon. So I've got a female over there, too. Spinja and Lungja. Spinja Lungja. There you are. Ah. So this is a good lake then. So that means there's a third zone over there with a female. Give me a shot. Come on, that was... Oh, come on. Um... Oh, that's not good at all. What just happened there? Did we just lose that in the water? We just lost that guy in the water. That's not good. That's not good. What if diamond? What if great one? What if albino? And it's not even there. Did it just completely desync out? Oh no. Yeah, it's not even... I don't even think it's easy even down there. Float back up or spawn on the shore? Okay. Really? I've never seen that happen. Another male over there. Three drink zones here. And there's a male over there somewhere. Let's spook the male out.
Is that him? Yep. Yep, you're right. You're absolutely right. He just popped back up on the... That's so weird. He just popped back up. On the land. So that's good then. That's very good, because that would have been really bad. So that's good. So if that happens, it looks like they, they do pop back up on the shore. Where you shot them. What gun am I using? Uh, this is the 300. I'm using the 300 on the Lions. 300 Magnum. Uh, let's try this little like. <laughs> Cats float. I'm not sure. Uh, Ludi, welcome to the stream. You're a new subscriber. Welcome. Hope you're enjoying the stream and the content. You're new too, Nash? Oh, I, th I th thought I'd seen you before, Nash. Welcome. Welcome, guys. What gun am I using for lines? 300 Magnum. 300 Magnum. I just heard a lion. Look at this. Four lakes in a row. We got lions. Could you do another great one guide since they moved a lot of zones? I might just do that. Yeah, we'll need to make two more, I guess. For One for Quattro Red Deer, one for Whitetail on Ranch Show. The crosshair is the reticle that's coming with the update, Braden. You'll have the option to whether or not you want to use it as well, starting tomorrow. Well, we know they're here because I heard one. The question is where? Email. Fallow deer good for money? They can be for sure, yeah. Oh yeah. There's tons of fallow deer in Tiaroa. Pretty easy to hunt out in the open. Female. Just gonna run and look for the tracks here. Good chance there might be a male sitting in the grass or something. I'll let her spook. Oh, okay, well. So that's not fixed. It's all good. Not the end of the world. Oh, that's just dive bombing like crazy. Into the water. It's not good. There she is, I think. Right? Yeah, floating. I hope that they will at some point fix... I haven't, I've never seen the lions doing it, but it looks like the lions are doing it the way that the whitetail do it on Rancho. Jumping into the water after they get shot. She glitched backwards. Yeah, it's the second second one we've seen do that. Dive bomb into the water. Like a white tail. Just like a white tail would do. You're on. No. Let me. No. What? That might be. No, did I just hear another lion? Or was that the music? Oh boy. Now let's move on. My last bowling match. Look at Aiden and Scarecrow. Scarecrow, did you copy Aiden's profile picture there? What the heck, man? Why would you do that? Yep. 
You have your last bowling match tomorrow before regionals on Friday and Saturday. Is your bowling team called the Scarecrows? Is that where that logo's from? Scarecrow. Why would you take their their bowling logo for your profile picture? <laughs> Crow is a huge bowling fan. I don't know if you guys know that. Hey, monkey! I do remember you. How are you? You're you're a soldier in my in, in the in the kill clan. How could I forget you? How you doing? One of my soldiers. Hey, Crow, did you know there's uh, male lions up here now? Male lions up there. I'm doing good, monkey. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking, buddy. Picks from a local flea market. Oh, really? Nice. Support, you gotta support your local flea markets. Just got a Texas double lung by shooting a black buck under it into double lung from behind. Wow, crazy. This, this one, Caitlin? Yeah, it is kind of 90s, isn't it? Yeah, 90s alternative, definitely. Could be like a wallflower song or something. I hear them. somewhere. Does the 7mm work on lions? It does. It sure does. It's a good option. Especially when you're just kind of just starting out if you don't have all the weapons unlocked or the weapon packs. 7mm is super handy. They're out there somewhere. Hear them. Hey, Seth. Uh, pretty good, man. Thanks for asking. Hey, A Dub, what's up? Bro, bra, what's up, man? Oh, they're over there. Okay. Might try to flush that guy out. Female. That away. Okay, right over here. Oh, there goes a six. Female got the zone. Hello, fellow kids. <laughs> there it is. 
Been a member for five months almost, Monkey. Nice. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Hmm. Not been in all the streams because of school, Monkey. It's all good. School's important. Good to see you. Brown. Where'd Crow go? He said hi and then left. Didn't get, didn't get to talk about bowling. Went to get a drink. Ty, welcome back, man. Have you ever collabed with DD? I have not. I've chatted with DD before. There was a time when we were going to do a collab, and then it just never happened. And I haven't spoken with him since. No love for KC, man. Nobody, nobody wants to play with KC. I'm the kid on the playground nobody wants to play with. Except Scarecrow. <laughs> I'm just different. I don't know. I'm just kidding. But, yeah. Probably nerding out on Pokemon. <laughs> you might be. Crow went to play bowling with the musk deer. There he is. He's there. He had to go, he had to go get a Michelob. Okay, I think that might have been the only zone there. There might be one on the other side, but... Oh, we're getting into... We're getting into what might be Springbok drink time. I don't know. I still don't know, but I'm, I'm guessing the Springbok still drink after the Lions. Yeah. We're finding a lot of Lions. It's pretty nice. Just, oh, there he is. Five medium. Lots of fives. You see that? The music paused for me when I shot. How did you know what I'm drinking? <laughs> I don't know, man. I might have a camera installed in your room. I might not, though. do I got to do to get an albino? What do I got to do to get an albino? Right. Oh, there's a male over there. Right. Okay. Yeah, man. Finding the lions. They are friggin' laying in the grass, but they're making it work. Shoot you. I shoot you. Shoot you again. Stops looking when I actually say stuff. What about how did you know what I'm drinking? Almost five. Scarecrow got to do your American duty. Hunt and beer. I can't have beer right now. Big sad. Big sad. The most dimes you got in a day? I think my my max my the best I ever got was seven. Seven diamonds in one day. Which is too many. <laughs> it's too too stressful. I don't I don't recommend any more than three or four. <laughs> How many diamond lions do I have? Uh two. Two diamond lions. 
Do I know what time the update comes out? I imagine it's probably the same as always, 2 or 3 a.m. But I don't know for sure. Scarecrow can be seen in Rancho drinking at 8.30 to 11.30. <laughs> he drinks at the same time as the Whitetail. Female lion over there. Water? I think there's one in the water. There's a line in the water. I'm almost sure of it. Let's go find out. another line right there another five so like 90% of the males are fives I'm almost certain there's a female in the water here come on oh won't let me Too steep, is it? Yeah, she's in the water. Or is she right there? Mm, I don't see anything. She's right there. Never mind. I had drinks with that great one before I blast him. Can't keep his head straight. <laughs> awesome. Most diamonds in the day is two pronghorn and a bison, same like. That's well that's cool. That's awesome. Pronghorn and a bison? Two awesome diamonds. Yeah, Jana, totally. As long as it's not like spammy, it's I don't see it being anything to worry about. Alright, well, Springbok. Springbok should be coming in. So I think lions were at every lake we checked.
Uh, Elite Gaming, any tips for how to get diamonds? I can't find them. Uh, well, I mean, I've put hundreds of hours into making guides to help you guys try to find diamonds. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, I have a, a pretty big playlist called Wild Guides Playlist that should help you. Hopefully that, they, they help you. Um, but as a new player, I wouldn't worry too much about diamonds. Just I would just kind of focus on getting better at finding animals in general. Hunt uh, near water. Just practice the game and learn to find animals. It's just a matter of being at the right place at the right time. Every animal follows a schedule. Once you learn those, you can kind of figure out where to go, where the animals will be at any given time on the map. That takes some of the guesswork out of it. The other day I killed a piebald row, and the next kill was an albino row. Wow. Pfft, crazy luck. I did play Rancho already. Yep. We played Rancho for quite a while. Go back and show your setup later? Um, probably not. Sorry that you missed it. Um, I'm not fully reset up yet on Rancho. I'll probably do a, a great one guy for Rancho. You can... That'll show all the hot spots and my setup and stuff. Just got my first bighorn diamond sheep, Tristan. Nice. Very cool. Springbok, huh? I think Springbok are going to be drinking. Now, I actually don't know for sure. Uh, I played about half an hour in Mississippi so far, Jonathan, but apparently there is less uh, less rain, so. If you didn't like the rain, then it'll be better for you without as much. Haven't got any good trophies in a long time. Last one was a diamond moose. Diamond moose are cool, Sarah. That's awesome. Hopefully you get another one soon. Some cool trophies. Might get the KC mouse pad, nice. Highly recommend it. Huh, we didn't see that guy before. So there was a third lion here, a mythical. Which means there's a zone down there too. Come on, stop. What are good spots for lines without update? Without update? What do you mean, Brayden? Before the update? As ZW said, what time the update is rolling out? Not that I know of. Usually the updates happen like 3 a.m. Pacific time. Just checked some lakes on my Savannah map before the update. Found a max weight, max score, male games box. A max weight, max score, male games box. Very cool. Very nice. Lions never used to be at this lake, Beluga. This is a new thing with the update. Before the update, Braden, they're very spread out. You're going to have lions here, there, there, there. That lake's really good. The twin lakes are good. This lake is good. That lake, uh, that lake, lions, and lions there. Can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah. It's exciting. It's an exciting update. For the game, for sure. How many new DLCs? Just one. A new weapon pack. The 22 Hornet could absolutely kill a Bobcat. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's. I mean, that's partly partly what it's kind of meant to do.
Um, but yeah, the Hornet is gets a, gets a huge buff with this update. Much more powerful. There's the zone. I like the fact they have fur variants in the game. Be interesting to see a rare hairless deer. Like one with mage. Um, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Or to see Velvet on the on the antlers. Grinding for a rare or diamond lion. Wouldn't notice it if I see a blonde. Yeah, it, it, it can be hard to tell, but if you're looking closely, you'll you'll know. Like you'll know that it might be a blonde kind of thing, right? Like it will look noticeably lighter. Depending on the lighting, but if you're just shooting, you know, at least all the males that you're seeing anyway. You might just get one by accident. Need Coos Deer for a Deer Grand Slam. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, Deer Grand Slam would be cool. I mean, you could make one now. White Tail, Black Tail, Mule Deer. And then pick a fourth. Lots of options. Fallow Deer, maybe. Did they take out the Fence Bug? Hmm, Fence Bug. Was there a Fence Bug? Were the fences bugged? I don't think I ever heard about that. Thinking of getting the Cora's Air Void. The Cora's Air Void? The Corsair... Do you mean these headphones? Uh, yeah, I like them. I love them. I haven't had any problem with them. They're comfortable. Intestines, both shots. Close to 21.8. 21.8k subs. Heck yeah. The gates on Mississippi were bogged. I didn't even know that. Alright. We're at 199 likes. One more like for 200. You guys are killing it. Appreciate it. Let's see if these Springbok are drinking. At the same time as usual. Gotta go a little early. See you next stream. Okay, Aiden. We'll see you later, man. Appreciate you. Have a good night. Accidentally got an albino lion on the first day of the grind. Jeez. An accidental albino lion. You love to see it. You were grinding lines though, so technically it wasn't accidental at all. The new pistol is a 454. Yeah, it's just a new skin for the Rhino. So technically it's not a new new pistol. The game, this pistol was already in the game, but it's a new skin for it. And it looks really cool. Spring box. Spring box. Are they going to be drinking right now? We also don't know when the jackal drink. Yeah, I haven't seen the jackal drinking yet. I haven't seen kudu drinking yet. Hey Carter, welcome. Are you gonna try duck hunting? Eventually, yeah. Not today though. Nobody has shown that yet. It deserves it to at least get a test. It does deserve that, yeah. A lot of things deserve to get a test right now. I'm trying to cover everything. Can only do so much. Right now we're trying to uncover some more of these drink zones. But yeah, the ducks, I'll definitely be looking at those soon. Uh, 
No springbok out here yet. Oh, what's this? Warthogs. Huh. Warthogs drinking. Oh my goodness. Does that mean springbok would be a night nighttime drinking uh, animal? Warthogs 15 to 1830. That's very different. That's very different. And just a single warthog over there, too. Kudu drank at 1830 to 21. Okay, didn't know that. Cool. Good. So that's way better. So our Springbok maybe after the Kudu then. And then what about Jackal? Springbok and Jackal might be drinking at night, you guys. Which I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Jackal will be very hard to, to hunt at night. I mean, they were hard to hunt during the day with how small they are. Hmm. How long am I streaming for? Forever. With the jackals, we're traded in for wild dogs with, for more variety. Wish. Wish they were. You don't like the jackals? Uh, Aster, welcome. Master Chief Aster, how's it going? Oilers playing today, I'm not sure. I haven't checked the schedule. How does the three-way compare to the M1? Uh, it's better on paper. I like it better. I don't know if everybody will like it better, but. I would say it's better for me. I like it better. It's better uh, statistically. So yeah, it's gonna be a popular one. It's gonna be a popular weapon. Can confirm. Do -do, do -do 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 -do. See anything? No warthogs, no spring back. Okay, buffalo up there. Hey, Jackson, we haven't gotten any trophies yet today. <laughs> We're looking. Where would I find Springbok? They should be over here. I don't think Springbok are drinking right now, though. I think it's Warthogs right now, and then I think... Yeah, Kudu after the Warthogs at 1800. And then... I'm thinking Jackal and Springbok drink at night. Hey, Blackhawk. I, prob I probably will, man. Yep. Hey, Crispy. How's it going? Anything cool today? No trophies yet today. in the grass. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> no. Wow. I can't believe that's right there. I can't believe that is right there. We've got an albino wildebeest. An albino wildebeest. So, so rare. That is super cool. Holy. Only the second time I've ever seen one. And oh, and the first time I've ever seen one in sunlight. I killed the other one, the other one that I have at night while they were drinking. Never seen one in the sunlight before. She's gonna spook. I might try to drop her. Did 
that probably missed because I'm zero for 300. Let's see. Yeah, we got lions spooking them. Let's see if I can make this happen without her getting too far away. I'm not too worried about full score. I can just get her down. Where did they go? We've got to find where they've gone. Let's get our track. That's the gold one. Could this be her track? That's the gold one. Oh, I did hit her. Nice. Okay. Okay, I don't think that's going to take her down, but it'll slow her down. Did you ever no scope the nine K buffalo? No, it turns out the the no scoping isn't really a thing. It's not calibrated, the hip iron hip firing. So we we took it down with the crossbow instead. So yeah, I don't think that'll take her down. Hopefully. She'll just lead us up into an open clearing of some sort. We'll be able to get a good shot. With the 308, albino wildebeest. With the 308, she might run right past me. She should be with them, they turned around. Let's get up here. You think a great one lion would be cool? I do, yeah. I think that would be amazing. Is there a scar variety for lions? Um, no. Well, I mean, there are dark brown rares. I wouldn't say it's a scar variety. Am I looking right at her? No, I'm seeing things. I'm, oh, no, yeah, I am looking right at her. Thought I saw something white out there. She's at 25 to 50. So we should be able to actually get a vital here and actually get full score on her. Let's see. No wobble, no wobble. There we go. Nice, oh my gosh, that's crazy. That is a very, very rare trophy to have on the map as a fresh spawn. Really cool. Never seen, never seen one in the sunlight before. What's a rare you really really want but don't have? Uh, melanistic Eurasian Lynx. Melanistic of, of so many animals. Also an albino lion. There's a lot of rares that I don't have yet. Become part of the Call of Wild crew. How do I get to be a part of that? Grayson, are you a content creator? If you're a content creator, you can apply. You can 
can find out the details of that in, uh, in Discord. Let's take a look at this. There she is. There she is. Little level one female albino. Only the second one I've ever seen. They are hugely rare. I don't know how they compare to the crowned. I think they're similar for the rarity. The crowned might be a little bit more rare. Or the albino might be a little bit rare. I actually don't know. They're both very, very rare. First shot we just caught. A little bit of flesh. Second shot did the trick. That's awesome. Albino Wildebeest with the 308. Let's go. They look so good. I kind of wish their hooves were like pink though, you know? I kind of wish they had the pink hooves, made a little pink around the eyes. A little more of a pink nose. But other than that, they look really good. Albino males? I think so. I think you can, yeah. Both of my albino wildebeest were both level 1 females, though. And I don't know if I've ever seen a picture of a male albino wildebeest, but I do believe they are a thing. They'd get so sunburned this event. True. Yeah, they really would. You have a male albino one, Kevin? Nice. Yeah, so they are a thing. Found my first level 9 lion, Blemzy. Nice. Gonna take a shot right now. I hope it's a diamond for you. Spine him with a bow, Kevin. At least it wasn't uh, a super rare that you spined. Nothing down here. Thought there might be warthogs. Um, but yeah, I would love to stream all evening, guys. I really would. I'm going to end this one here, though. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll be live again tomorrow. And yeah, appreciate you guys. Hey, Taylor. We're ending the stream. Sorry. <laughs> Been live for a long time. But we'll catch you in the next one, guys. We'll be live tomorrow. Appreciate you guys. Have a good night. Be safe. And take care, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Peace!